This is the Close Combat Assault Ration, or the C-Car. It introduces state-of-the-art food components that were cooked and processed under vacuum microwave drying and sonic agglomeration. Vacuum microwave drying shrinks food to around half to one-third its original size and maintains some moisture content, which helps retain flavor and normal texture while making the food shelf-stable. This is the FSR, or First Strike Ration, the current 24-hour ration used by the U.S. The C-Car is aimed to replace it. The C-Car weighs 2 pounds 0 0.6 ounces, or 923 grams, while the FSR weighs 2 pounds 9.5 ounces, or 1176 grams. The C-Car contains a day's worth of nutritious, palatable, and highly advanced ready-to-eat food for a soldier. Compared to the standard USMRE, which three are issued per day, the C-Car is closer in its scope of purpose to the First Strike Ration, which is about half the bulk of those three MREs, but the C-Car is one-third the bulk. State of the art. Check out how compact the C-Car is. Compared to the FSR in its profile, overall cubic space, than the three MREs. Reduces the overall carry weight down for an infantryman by 10%. So let's give it a look. Thin outer package. That'll probably get upgraded once it's put into major production, which is aimed for 2023. We'll see. It's just about at that three year inspection. It meets the Department of Defense logistical supply chain requirements with the three-year shelf life. We'll confirm that, see if this is fresh. This thing's been climate controlled. Okay, so right off the bat. Original beefsteak bites. Preservatives, sodium nitrate, but then also treated with a solution of potassium sorbate green tea extract, and rosemary extract to ensure freshness. Let's see what's next. Look at this. Military energy gum. 100 milligrams of caffeine per piece. Yeah, five pieces in there. Powdered spice packet. Cliff Shaw Energy Gel. 25 grams of carbohydrate 13 of them are sugar. That is some quick energy right there. Quick and easy. Definitely what you're gonna need when you're on the move. Wow, a retort pouch. So it is taking some of the meals and turning them into a sonic agglomerated, you know, vacuum microwave dried bar, but it's still having some normal food. Chicken burrito bowl's been one of the most popular and well-accepted menus. It makes sense. Still a thin profile. 390 calories. It's bolstered. There's extra fat and carbohydrate. It has cooked chicken and isolated soy protein. Brown rice, pinto beans, chicken fat. It's more calorie dense than your standard chicken burrito bowl. Tart Cherry Dessert Bar. 290 calories. Cream powder, powdered sugar, shortening, tart cherry powder, cream cheese powder, various flavorings and colorings, BHA preservative, vitamin E as a natural preservative. To fit 290 calories in this little bar. 290 calories would typically be one of those apple turnovers that are twice the size, at least. Spoon. Gotta have it. Like peanut butter. Calorie dense. Compact. I was wondering if this thing would have peanut butter. It does. Toilet paper. Crunchy coated pumpkin seeds. Nacho flavor. And the packaging seems to be delaminating. Potato, coconut, chicory, sea salt, onion, tomato, garlic, chili pepper, paprika, 
Seems like it's going to be a flavorful and nutritious component. Cranberries sliced. But look, they're really vacuum sealed. Typically it's, you know, you can rattle them around. There's a bunch of air poofing in the pack. They weren't messing around with this one. 190 calories, 49 grams of carbs. Just pure energy in a flat profile that take up like no space at all. Same with this. It's a real no frills, no wasted extra packaging, which all of it adds up. I mean, really, in weight, nut raisin mix with pan coated chocolate discs, a classic component that's still around because it's nutritious and calorie dense. Wow, look at this. Buffalo chicken bar, 150 calories, eight grams of fat, 17 grams of protein. Wonder how well it's held up. Yeah, vacuum microwave drying, moisture remains in the food. Unlike freeze drying, which has zero moisture remaining, it still maintains a slight pliability and can be ready to eat without dehydrating you. It's definitely the future of all of this if it ends up working out and it's shelf stable for an extended period of time. We'll see. Oh yeah, here we go. Caramel cheesecake. Look how tiny it is. 280 calories in that. Nice looking ingredients. All right, here's what's left. Hula bar. It was packed April 20th, 2020, just about at the three-year inspection, one week shy. It has medium-chain triglycerides. The nutritional benefits of MCT oils are extensive. It's very cool to see in a ration. All right, and then what's left? Apple pie. And it's like liquid, because it's the applesauce, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg extract of vanilla. And then look, carbohydrate, electrolyte, beverage powder, grape. And it's not in that big old container. It's just in a little stick. 90 calories. This is 117 calories. Apple pie dessert. And then MRE crackers. This thing has the same amount of calories as a first rake ration. I estimate it has on the low end 2,830 calories. On the high end, 2,930. Okay, and for breakfast, we're gonna be starting the day off right. Let's get sat onto a tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by checking out that carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder grape. Hmm. A nose tingling, vibrant, artificial grape. Looks quite blue. An artificial grape flavor and less sweet than usual. Allocating those calories to other components while maintaining the electrolyte content. It's more effective. Let's check out this buffalo chicken bar. Here. Tear notches in the wrong spot. Let's slice it back here see how this is looking. Buffalo chicken bar. Vacuum microwave dried sonic compressed chicken. Hmm, it's fresh with a really inviting and natural buffalo sauce smell. Moisture absorber. Is that a piece of celery in there? That maintained color. Look at that. 
velvety, smooth to the touch. It starts to get a little bit of a rubs off with a little grain. <laughs> Prevalent buffalo smell. It has a great smell. It almost looks like bread. The hula bar. I'm saving the packaging. So clean openings. The smell, vibrant coconut, chocolate and almond smell. It is unlike anything I've really smelled before. It's like an amplified coconut. That's a nice, strong, toasted coconut. You gotta check out this caramel cheesecake. Look at that. This doesn't need any fillers or binders, which will prevent crumbling and dryness, which also is non-nutritious bulk. This has none of it. This is also vacuum microwave dried and sonic compressed. Thick tri-laminate packaging. That's good. Oh, there it is. It smells amazing, like butter and vanilla, like cinnamon. Look at that, and it held up well. Probably minimal oxidation. I don't know if it's much brighter than this when it's real fresh, but it's not super dark. It doesn't smell off. It's fresh, it's a vacuum microwave dried and very much compressed piece of cheesecake that is shell stabilized. Is <laughs> I gotta try the stuff that peeled off in here. Tasty morsels. Oh yeah, that's fresh. That's a strong vanilla flavor. And then the military energy gum. You get five pieces, you know, one between breakfast and lunch, and then one between lunch and dinner, or you save it for late at night just in case you save one or two. Those will come in handy. 500 milligrams of caffeine total for the day. Let's check out this chicken bar. Whoa. Let's do that again. That is like a sponge. Hmm. That just turned into a huge, you have to take small bites. That just expanded like a lot. Well, it's like biting into a piece of cotton the texture, but then it tastes like buffalo chicken, kind of. Mmm. That is some really dry, compressed buffalo chicken jerky. It's buffalo chicken jerky compressed into a bar. That little bite expands into a larger paste, almost, bite. Mmm. Flavor-wise, it's not bad. Can it be rehydrated? Is it possible? Let's find out. It's worth trying. I'm gonna let this soak. I mean, of course you'd just wanna eat it on the go, but what if you had the option? What if you dropped it in your chicken burrito bowl? You could mix it in there. Let's just put a little water in with it. Does it absorb water like freeze-dried does, or is it just leaving some moisture in there and you wanna chase it with water? Realistically, that's what it seems like it'd be best for anyway. This is just something that I wanna test out to see if it's even viable at all as like a sit down meal type option. Tastes like a tangy, buttery cotton ball.
if you think of it like a compressed chicken jerky bar, it doesn't seem so off-putting, but it has an almost unpleasant sponge-like texture to the initial chew, which then, once moisture is reintroduced, it's not so bad. There's still more moisture to it than freeze-dried, so you could still actually eat it on the go as is, without any real major risk, my guess, for gastrointestinal issues that did happen from eating freeze-dried bars. That was like 40 years ago. With prototype rations from the 80s, food pack of salt, ration lightweight, 30 days, ration cold weather, first generation, all used freeze-dried food bars, and it was a failure. This maintains some moisture. It's possible that you could eat this on the go without major issues. That's probably why it's not all bars and they still have a retort pouch made in there. You would likely have derangement to your digestive tract if you're eating nothing but this all the time. So they're giving you the chicken burrito bowl. This is a great protein option for on the go. And I think that instead of those freeze dried bars, it's definitely a step up, but you know, one sec. The buffalo flavor is not too strong. It's mild, which is great. You can chase the beverage base down with it. Like imagine biting into something with the texture of, listen to this. Seriously feels like I'm biting into cotton. Now for the hula bar. Very prevalent toasted coconut flavor. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. You could eat that thing in three or four bites real fast. Medium chain triglyceride oil or MCT fats. That's a healthy fat right there. That's from coconut oil. Excellent clean energy. It reduces brain fog, increases cognitive function, lowers blood sugar through the ketones that your body's going to be producing, running off fat like that instead of all those extra sugar grams. It's better energy, it really is. And it also lowers lactic acid production, which means it reduces cramps, muscle cramping. It means more stamina, and it also reduces inflammation. It means less sugar and maltodextrin in beverage bases, stuff like that. Your body's not just running off of like tons of sugar. It means less pressure on your pancreas. The bar is a bit crumbly. You might lose a little bit, but a toasted coconut bar. Again, you lose a little bite due to it being a bit dry and crumbly. That might just be because it's three years old. Let's check out this chicken. Actually, it looks like it absorbed pretty much all of it. Let's check it out. Hmm. You know what? I think if you added like two or three ounces of water to this, break it up and add water and let it soak. It absolutely helps with texture and brings out flavor. All right, now for the cheesecake bar. Look at that. Wow. that. That's the best bar of the three by far. It tastes like cheesecake. It's normal. 
just kind of dry cheesecake with a slight spongy texture, but hardly a quality undertone of vanilla and creamy cheesecake, like a cheesecake filling with graham cracker. Although a tad bit dry, it tastes first bite has a slight textural resemblance of clay, but then after that it seems quite normal. They should just give you two of those instead of this thing right here. It's not that bad. Gotta have the protein. And to do the vacuum microwave drying sonic compression with this chicken to make it like this, it's so dense, yet it's not freeze-dried. It's shelf-stable, and you can technically eat it on the go. Okay, so how long will it take me to eat this last bite? It's good to know. Like, how quickly can you eat it? It's almost like a joke, because it fools you. You think it's a, it's like you can take a big bite, it turns into a real big bite. It just keeps expanding. <laughs> I feel like I could get on the move here, especially after this. Hmm, it has like a vanilla mint flavor. Hmm, like vanilla mint cotton candy and a hundred milligrams of caffeine in about three or four hours We're gonna take it over to lunch. Okay. Now we're back with lunch. All right. Let's get this out on your tray Nice. Okay. Let's first start off by checking out those cranberries sliced nice. Vacuum sealed again taking up way less space than usual Look at that Compressed dried fruit. It smells vibrant of like a mouth-watering, tart, vibrant cranberry. They're calorie dense and it's so easy to integrate sugar with them. The nut raisin mix with pan-coated chocolate discs. I think this is a great addition Love how they reduced the size of the packaging and compressed the portion into what seems to be half the amount of space it normally takes up while maintaining 66 grams. 27 grams of this, although not listed, will be fat. It's a good amount of caloric content right there. And with something normal, you can't just be eating a bunch of bars for morale's sake. You gotta have some normal food. Then the crunchy coated pumpkin seeds, nacho flavor. Wow, those look amazing. They are like a nacho coated pumpkin seed. It smells like onion and some kind of like fried breading. Look at those. Original beefsteak bites. Let's see how it's looking. Are they the vacuum microwave dried? Or is it just beef jerky? We'll find out. That just looks like some preserved meat, like a meat jerky. The tart cherry dessert bar. It's like cherries and butter. That's what that smells like. 
it almost looks like one of those old school chocolate covered cookies that are all shiny, but instead of chocolate, it's tart cherry. That's this is one of the most exciting moments of my life. A nice little carbohydrate replenishing right here. This energy gel shot with the maltodextrin and sugar and electrolytes after heavy exertion. It's quick, easily digested energy, non-thirst provoking, again, providing a, a vital electrolytes as well, sodium, potassium. Hmm. It's a creamy raspberry, a light raspberry flavor, really. You can taste the minerals. It has a certain viscosity along with the thickening agent and maltodextrin. It's almost like jelly, but then it tastes less sweet. Now, the cranberries. Hmm. Pretty much like a fruit bar. Hmm. Tart, sweet, a fantastic chew. Now for the nacho flavored pumpkin seeds. They're fresh. Hmm. Excellent, savory, salty crunch. The pumpkin seed is well roasted. Pumpkin seeds are high in potassium and fiber, good amount of fat and protein, and they taste delicious. Now for the standard peanuts, raisins, and M&M's, hazelnut, little pieces of walnut, nice soft crunch, good quality, a little bit bitter. There's some hazelnut, a little bit more firm of a crunch, a nice roasted flavor. The peanuts, mmm, also well roasted, clean flavor, they taste fresh. The raisins, Nice and dry with a soft chew, no sugary granular crunch or anything like that. A deep, rich raisin flavor. The almonds, let's try one. A firm crunch, excellent flavor, and highly nutritious. A great addition to the trail mix. Now for the best part, the M&M's. Can't go wrong with those. Sweetens it up. Compact, calorie dense. Now for the beef jerky. The steak bites. Mmm. Nice bounce to the chew. Tastes fresh. Not too dry. Very normal. Good quality. Tastes a lot more fresh than your average beef jerky. And way less sweet. Green tea extract. Rosemary extract. That is a great antioxidant. Look at, that's how it kept that fresh looking color. Looks like real meat, tastes like real meat. That could very well be vacuum microwave dried. I mean, you could take a piece of meat or, or something, maybe some fruit, get it out on a tray, nice. And then it's put in this big old industrial machine with a vacuum pump that manages to take the food to a boil temperature of only 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally a boil temperature is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. I mean, it cooks the food, yet it retains all of the original nutritional value. About half of the moisture content of the food is evaporated, leaving it in a flexible form that is closer to normal than freeze-dried ever could have managed. Hmm. Not overly sweet. Pieces of cherry that are a little hard and granular. It's like a cherry fudge. After the food is vacuumed and microwave dried, it's put into a small mold where it's further compressed, along with shaking or vibrating the food. And through this specific combined process, it merges or melds rather 
the food particles, warms them together into a compact bar. Plus, the process only takes an hour or two, as opposed to freeze drying, which can take two days. In my experience, sometimes three. All depends on how small you're cutting the pieces or what you're freeze drying. All, all depends on a number of things, but usually it takes like two days in processing. This takes way less time. It's efficient. And it maintains some moisture in the food. Cherry bits get stuck in your teeth. That's the only thing. Gotta say, it including some normal food components could definitely prove to be a relief for soldiers that are having to live off this. They could have shrunk it even more. I mean, really? If they had more bars like this and that cheesecake, I think it was mostly the cheesecake and that chicken that's showcasing the vacuum microwave drying and sonic agglomeration technology. Those seem to be the main thing for that. I'm not even sure if this is. This could be more like the recipe that the mocha and peanut butter dessert bars out of first rate rations or the chocolate banana dessert bars composition and recipe. I could be wrong though. It could be compressed. It seems like it could very well be. That chicken was amazing. You could have rehydrated it and probably made some pretty good buffalo chicken if you left it all day. Anyway. Beef jerky with the additional antioxidant qualities, the prevention of discoloration, not only from the nitrates in it, but from the green tea extract and the rosemary extract, natural antioxidant. Not sure if it flavors it at all, but it does smell quite aromatic, like beef jerky incense. Nacho pumpkin seeds, rich in magnesium, fiber, protein, and poly and monounsaturated fats. This is what I'd do. I'd eat some of it on its own. Then the rest of it I'd just toss in together. Calorically, a large portion of the ration. On-the-go snacks that are nutritious, easy to eat, and non-thirst provoking. This is... The way to go. And then you got something like this. A lot of bits of cherry that are firm, tart, sweet, a little bit rough on your teeth, but totally worth it. You get a lot of it throughout. That was an excellent lunch. Okay, now we're back with dinner. All right, let's get the sat on your tray. Nice, and okay, let's first start off by checking out those crackers. That was a nice little hiss. This is flat in profile, calorie dense, nutritious and straightforward. It's something that actually makes sense for being in this ration. As basic as it seems, the apple pie, applesauce and butter, brown sugar, graham cracker crumbs. They're probably liquefied in there. Let's see what this stuff's looking like. Let's just get on this cracker so we can look at it for starters. Wow, that's like a concentrated applesauce with cream, butter, and graham cracker. Hmm, look at that. On its own, tastes like apple cobbler, pretty much. Like an apple cobbler puree. Hmm. Oh, wow. We'll just get all this out onto here. So we can get a, get a good look at it. A buttered apple cobbler puree. And some peanut butter. 
can't go wrong with this. A tried and true food. It would go great with that apple pie dessert. Just glob that out. I think on its own, it's great. But what you need to do is probably open up the pack of crackers. You dump both the peanut butter and the apple pie filling in together. This on its own, again, it's great. You get it in that section, break it up, and add both. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And no cracker for the main, just strictly for this. That's apple pie. It's unbelievably good. Crackers are so versatile. The flat profile is fantastic. They could put tortillas in one of these. If C-Car gets multiple menus, I can see them adding tortillas, a range of other food bars that are vacuum microwave dried and sonic compressed, and then those cream cheese based fruit or mocha, chocolate, banana, nut, what have you, peanut dessert bars, and then these. This thing has 100 calories more than your average MRE main, but it's in the same 227 gram portion. Let's check it out. Look at the fat. Nice. How solid is it? Could you just, you could probably just squeeze it out and eat it like a bar. It holds together well. Heating it up, of course, would probably make it more palatable. But I wanna eat it cold. Mmm. It's awesome. <laughs> and I can save that retort pouch for display along with the rest of it. It'll look great. I can wash that out easily. Mm. This isn't too thirst provoking either. This apple pie, go back over to this real quick. Wow. The apple pie filling, the apple pie dessert filling on its own, tastes exactly like a apple cobbler puree. You mix it with crackers and then peanut butter. The peanut butter's fat content and the thickness of it, it's going to balance out the kind of watery texture or viscosity. I mean, it's thick, but it's almost like a gel to the apple dessert filling. It's like part of the equation. You have to add in the cracker and peanut butter. You could probably eat that on its own and just mix apple pie with the crackers, but I think the peanut butter just really rounds it off. Great to mix the two. Cold chicken burrito bowl. Doesn't even matter. Oh wow, pinto beans. The rice is a little hard because it's cold. Nice pieces of chicken. I'm amazed. Higher fat, lower carb ratio in this ration is brilliant. Get a few extra ketones running through you. Takes a little damper off your system having to process all those carbs. Fat provides more water as an end product of metabolism than protein or carbohydrate. 9 calories per gram instead of 4. They can pack in the 227 gram retort pouch. Additional caloric content. The same amount of protein as the first strike ration, but it has less carbs, more fat. They could shrink it because of that, plus the vacuum microwave dried and sonic compressed food bars that shrinks a little more. Again, extra fat, efficient, well-processed, like, state-of-the-art food processing and great retort and tri-laminate packaging, the thick, flexible packaging, built to last, an excellent ration. It's three years old. 
it has hit inspection time and it seems absolutely perfect. You know, this other food tech, it's getting a fair shake and I'm sure it's getting well tested right now. Mm. What kind of seasoning is this anyway? On its own, it's like a real mild spicy flavor. Pinto beans and whatnot. Let's see what this does. What is this? Hmm. That's like hot sauce powder. Whoa. That stuff is flavorful. Pinto beans, corn, rice, and nice pieces of brown meat chicken. There's some kind of cheese sauce integrated. It's pretty mild, but you can see the cheese fat and chicken fat. I have no problem eating this cold. And if you're hungry, you're definitely not going to care. The fact that it's to be eaten quickly and on the go, I just squeeze this thing straight out of the retort and eat it like a protein bar or something. Carefully, of course. But it seems like it'd hold form. You might not want to generate any heat or anything. It can be seen, possibly smelled, making noise. That's like a nacho seasoning. It seemed to have added chili and vinegar to it. It adhered right onto it with that. Chicken fat and cheese sauce is integrated into this calorically bolstered chicken burrito bowl. That is so much better than your standard one. I have a feeling this thing will get put into mass production and it could very well in the long run be cheaper to make than freeze dried food. Again, if it takes like an hour or two for the process, you know, food processing when freeze drying takes like two days, sometimes more. Hmm. This is perfection. It's soaked a little bit. And if you took a half ounce of water and added it to the cracker pack, peanut butter and apple pie filling, mixed up real good, maybe even used hot water if you could. Oh man, that would be a real treat. Hmm. This is the most advanced ration I've ever had. Keeping it just over two pounds, maintaining 2,800 or more, possibly up to 2,900 calories. The close combat assault ration, or C-car. Pre-production prototype. What an experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.